Wilson and I'm an architect at Hopkins Architects. The theme for this year's festival is ACT and my selected object is the architect's tool of the trade, the pen. Architecture begins with the act of drawing. Paul Clay noted that drawing is the act of taking a line for a walk, an active line on a journey. The line in architectural representation is charged with potential, it preempts a future yet to come. But we have unwittingly wielded our pens as if they were swords to nature, and by seeing the earth and its ecosystems as distinct from us, by regarding the earth as an it, we have objectified nature. The last few years has demonstrated the urgency of action to repair our relationship with the natural world and mitigate damage due to climate change. At the same time, pandemic restrictions have reinforced the importance of coming together and of collective action. This call to action is particularly evident within the architectural industry, for instance, in the work of the Architects Climate Action Network. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's recently published Working Group 3 report includes the word action 1,222 times. It's a huge call to mobilise in the face of climate change. We know we need to build less, but it doesn't have to mean doing less architecture, rather finding a new language for architecture. Robin Wall Kimmerer in Braiding Sweetgrass writes that words and language are the gift and responsibility of humankind. But drawings are the language of architectural production. The late David Lee explained that to design is to reveal our vision for the future, and this imposes on architects an inescapable responsibility. Pen in hand, we can inscribe more ecologically sensitive stories into our drawings and provide regenerative settings for those stories yet to be told by our future ancestors.